on and off the field, Panthers Cam Newton continues to bewilder. Not much of what happened this season with Cam Newton was easy to understand. Not his development as a pocket passer. Not his on-field self-preservation instincts, which were supposed to kick in as he returned from a shoulder injury and make him less fearless, and perhaps less reckless, with his body as a runner. Not his dealings with the media and his never-simple public image. It's all complicated. The Carolina Panthers return to the NFC playoffs when they play Sunday in New Orleans. That puts Newton, their quarterback and former league MVP, back at center stage. The fifth-seeded Panthers probably will need a superb performance by Newton if they're going to have any chance to keep pace with the fourth-seeded Saints, who had the league's second-ranked defense this season. This might be Drew Brees' last. Best shot to get back to the Super Bowl it was an uneven regular season for Newton as he tried to recapture the magic of the 2015 season, when he was the NFL's MVP and led the Panthers to a Super Bowl appearance. Newton struggled last season as the Panthers missed the playoffs, then underwent shoulder surgery. He returned this past summer amid talk that his playing style would change and he would run with the football less often to reduce the number of hits he would absorb. At times, that seemed to be the case. Newton would slide at the end of runs. He would stay anchored to the pocket more often. But as the season progressed, it was the Newton of old rather than an older, and presumably wiser, version of Newton that was on display. He ended up having single-season career highs in rushing attempts, 139, and rushing yards, 754. Newton was asked about that this week when he met with reporters, and said, that's my edge. And I wouldn't expect you or anybody else to take it away. When I say you, I mean the media as a whole. I'm comfortable running the football. I feel like I help the team when I'm running the football. And as long as I'm playing this game, I will run the football. That's not a career development plan that necessarily meshes with NFL longevity or sustained greatness. The generally accepted concept is that a quarterback should progress as a pocket passer as his career goes along, and become less reliant on his running. And for Newton, there were times this season when he appeared to be coming along as a pocket passer. But such progress was not on consistent display. He threw 16 interceptions to go with his 22 touchdown passes. His passer rating of 80.7 was up from last season's 75.8 but far from the 99.4 that he posted in his MVP season. He was the league's 24th rated passer. His struggles were particularly acute last Sunday when the Panthers, still with a chance to overtake the Saints to win the NFC South title when the day began, lost at Atlanta as Newton threw three interceptions and connected on only 14 of 34 passes. It just wasn't clicking and it was internal, Newton said this week. Self-inflicted things never, are, good for you. And I felt like this past Sunday, that was a perfect indication of how our day was. Protecting the football is very important. I have to do a way better job of doing that and just holding my end of the bargain up. It also was a season of off-field issues for Newton stemming from his dealings with the media. In October, Newton said during the weekly news conference he found it funny to hear a female reporter talk about pass routes. He apologized after being widely criticized for the sexist remark and was dropped by at least one sponsor, as yogurt maker Dannon cut its ties with Newton and replaced him with Dallas Cowboys quarterback Doc Prescott. Will the playoffs be Alex Smith's last hurrah as quarterback of the Chiefs? It is not the first time that Newton's dealings with the media have been scrutinized. He was criticized for taking a mostly non-responsive approach to answering reporters' questions on the night of the Panthers' Super Bowl defeat to the Denver Broncos. Newton responded then by saying he is a sore loser and that's exactly how he wants it. Show him a good loser, he said in the Super Bowl aftermath, and he'll show you a loser. But shouldn't he have learned from that fallout? Shouldn't there be a greater degree of maturity and professionalism on public display by now in his dealings with the media? Newton can be thoughtful and engaging in his interactions with reporters when he chooses to be. Why doesn't he choose that more consistently? Newton does seem aware of these issues. He issued an apology for his sexist comment earlier this season. 
When he was asked this week about having experience being in the playoffs, he turned his answer toward the amount of media coverage players face during the postseason. You just have to learn to control your emotions, he said. Is it different as far as media coverage? From this point forward, every game moving forward will have more and more media. If you can kind of cage that into understanding that, then you'll be fine. But Newton was not too concerned this week with looking backward. As far as Newton is concerned, all comparisons to the Panthers Super Bowl team and their Super Bowl season should be done. When are we going to put that to bed? We're two years removed, he said this week. Totally different team. The only thing that's probably the same is just winning. We just need to win. I can't stress it enough. A Patriots breakup looms for Tom Brady, Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft. Or does it? For the Panthers to succeed during these playoffs, they probably will need to lean on their defense. They likely will need tight end Greg Olson, coming off an injury-shortened regular season, and rookie running back Christian McCaffrey to be major factors in the offense. And, most of all, they need Newton to make it all work. Nothing's changed, he said. Just win. That's it. Simple. What can't happen is the false kind of bravado or the indications of a playoff game. It's still football. I haven't played a game yet that I didn't want to win. And this game isn't any different. Read more NFL coverage, I'd be foolish to say I don't want to be here. Highlights from Kirk Cousins' fan event John Gruden has $10 million a year deal with Raiders basically in place. Announcement expected next week Louisville's Lamar Jackson declares for NFL draft after fantastic college career Raiders radio voice. This coaching staff turned on Derek Carr NFL allocates more than $17 million to fund research into concussions 